Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M2 Pro chip. So this variant is the one with 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte SSD, and of course the M2 Pro chip with a 12 core CPU and a 19 core GPU. But this is basically going to be the same shape and size as the previous M1 Pro and M1 Max 14 inch MacBook Pro. However, we have the updated internals and today we're going to be doing a very quick unboxing and showing you what it's like on the inside. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So on the flip side here, what we're going to do is to basically open up the box. And what's quite interesting about this box is that we don't have any plastic on the outside and it also kind of lifts up from the bottom. So this is not perfectly flush, but uh, basically we'll remove these paper tabs and we're going to basically take off the front cover. So I'm just going to remove this. And this reveals the computer, basically going to lift out the MacBook Pro, which is nice and flush at the top and we're just gonna put this on the side. So before we get into the meat of the actual laptop itself, let's have a quick look at the power connector. So this is the MagSafe connector here, and this actually has the kind of space gray coloring, which is the same as the space gray version here. We'll just take off this packaging. So we've taken off the paper, and basically we have this very nice long braided space gray version of the MagSafe charger cable for MagSafe 3. So here we're gonna put this to the side. And then inside the box, we have the standard instruction manual. So we can look at the warranty information, etc. We have information about how the MacBook works. Of course, we have our MagSafe 3, Thunderbolt 4, USB-C cables, headphone jack, etc. So pretty much all of this is gonna be very similar to the 2021 MacBook Pros. And some warranty information. Of course, we have our Apple stickers as well, which can stick on other devices. And that's pretty much it. So here we can put this to one side. And of course we have our charger as well. So I'm just gonna take off the paper for this. So of course, having purchased this in the UK, we get a nice UK plug socket. And this particular charger is a 96 watt USB-C power adapter. So this just slots together like so. And we have a very high speed charger here. So that's gonna fit our MagSafe cable like this. And we're gonna go ahead and charge our laptop. And now we have the laptop itself. So we have this packaging, which I'm gonna remove. And we have a very kind of sleek box here. So of course the redesign from 2021 included this kind of thicker chassis with the rounded corners on the edge. And overall I'd say I call this a pretty beautiful machine. So let's go ahead and get it set up. So we've got our cable at the top. It's got our paper at the top here, which I'll just remove. And it's booting in for the first time. Let's put our MagSafe charger on the side. MacOS Monterey is installed, and then we can go ahead and set this up pretty much as normal. So we're now logged into our MacBook Pro and pretty much seriously impressed with the package. And if you're familiar with the 2021s, then you're not gonna to be too surprised here, but I always appreciate Apple's design. So if we look at a little bit more detail, we have the M2 Pro with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has a one terabyte solid state drive, so it's got plenty of space. And this is gonna be quite a lot of computer for most people. What I wanna do is to run a Geekbench just to do some comparison, just to show what the benchmark speeds are like. Here we're gonna run the CPU benchmark. So here we're getting a single core score of 1965 and a multi-core score of 15,007, which is very respectable. So what I'm gonna say is that this is a pretty decent machine. What I'm gonna be doing is a few more gaming benchmarks. So please make sure to check out my main channel for those videos. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.